Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today we're reviewing a wine that one of my viewers has requested. So Carl, here's my review of the Argyle. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Before I begin today's video, if you like it, please like, subscribe, and more importantly, share it with your friends because that's really how I continue to grow the channel and spread the good word of uh, cost-benefit analysis when it comes to wine value in the aisle. So yeah, anyway, share, and I appreciate it. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the 2017 Argyle Pinot Noir from Willamette, Oregon. It is 13.8% alcohol by volume, and I paid, wait, splurge alert, splurge alert, $20 for it at my local store. So uh, first of all, screw top, oh that's right, Haley already started drinking it. So yeah, screw top plus one. Um, sorry there's no crunchiness on that. Maybe I'll edit it in. No, I'm too lazy for that. I'm not gonna do it. And, ooh. Easy, pale ruby. Pale ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so from the nose, well, this wine smells like a Pinot Noir. It's got medium intensity on the nose. I'm getting cranberry, raspberry, a little bit of red cherry, getting some cloves, some cinnamon, slight touch of earth. That's it. I mean, there's, it's, it's not, it's not too crazy, but uh, it's got some nice element. A little bit, touch of black pepper. There's some black pepper in there. Ooh, yeah. You breathe really deep. It stings a little bit. Not that it's bad, it's just the way the wine is. So um, enough with smelling it, let's get to the taste. Dominant notes, raspberry, a little bit of a, kind of a, a cherry cranberry back up there. Um, but it's a sour fruit, these are sour fruit. Uh, body is medium minus, tannins are low, maybe to medium minus on the top of the tannins. Alcohol is presenting as medium. The intensity is medium. I, I mean, there's there's a weirdness about this though because the fruit is a has a lot of intensity compared to I got a cat here uh, compared to um, the the secondary and the tertiary. So like I, I was hoping to get a little bit more earth, a little bit more of that cinnamon, that clove. Those kind of are, are there, but they're they're not as intense as that that sour fruit. That sour red fruit up front is, is pretty intense. So I mean, it's there. I mean, it's 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 got some things going for it. And um, yeah, let's get to the blick. So from a balance standpoint, I'm gonna give you half a point. Um, the acid's really high. The body's I kind of I. I kind of want more body out of this wine. I, I feel like having more body, a little bit more structure to it would 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 help it. Uh, maybe last a bit longer. Oh yeah, the finish, medium minus finish. I, I feel like all of those things would help, but it's missing some components to kind of make it really even, but it's not so out of whack when you taste it, you're just like, whoa, I have no clue what's going on here. I mean, you taste it, it's a Pinot Noir. And you're just some things that are out of whack on it. Uh, so half a point. Length, medium minus finish, no points. Intensity, I'm gonna give you half a point. I'm getting medium intensity on both the nose and the palate, so you got that. And um, for complexity, once again, I'm gonna give you half a point. Um, I'm, I'm getting a lot of complexity on the nose in terms of red fruit, different types of barrel notes, some tertiary. Um, on the palate, it's not showing up as much. It's just kind of more sour fruit. And those other elements aren't intense enough for me to wanna to kind of bring them into the complexity. And it's not that they're trying to be understated about it or, or integrate them, they're just weak. Um, and, and, and that kind of goes into the medium intensity aspect. If, if this was a, a full point intensity wine, those would probably be picking up more, but it's not there, so you get half a point. So overall, that comes out to one and a half points. So you can go, okay or good. Um, I'm actually gonna I'm lean towards okay on this one. Now, if it wasn't a splurge, if this was going at $15, ideally for a wine like this, 10 to 12, then I'd probably give you good, just for the, the quality per, per dollar aspect of it. But um, for, for paying $20, especially from Willamette, I, I expect more. 
because I've had a lot of really good wines from Willamette that are around this range or cheaper, that are good to very good, borderline great, and this this one just isn't standing up there. So, um, is there room for improvement? Yes. If you have a bottle of it, are, are you going to pour it down the drain? Or should you? No. I, I don't think it's that bad. But uh, anyway, y'all asked for it. That was my assessment on the Argyle. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on a Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the 2017 Argyle Pinot Noir from Willamette, Oregon? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I will see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.